All right, so I'm starting mission five, and I also kind of want to expound on what I uh, what I was talking about earlier. Uh, the motorcyclist who keeps going up and down my street at stupidly high speeds. So I think I scared him once. Uh, from he, he still he still does it. I have no fucking ammo. Oh shit! I have no ammo. Oh boy. I killed him in two hits? What? Did someone already shoot him for me? Anyway, I think I scared him one time because, uh... After one of the times that he... Was doing that, I went out there and smoked a cigarette with my... With a... With like a gun on my hip. Um, he probably thinks it was a real gun, but it's actually just a pellet gun. It definitely looks like a real one. Uh, but ever since I did that, ever since I went out there... With that, he stopped doing it. Uh, oh, well, he still uh, he still does it on the other streets, but not mine. He's kind of slowed down. I have no ammo. I'm gonna f okay. I can use my rocket launcher here. Oh, and they also reminded me. Uh, you know that you ever see a picture every once in a while that's posted on some meme site that's where where a gun owner posts on the on the on their wall on their on the front of their house, like. Uh, it's like warning. Uh, we don't call 911. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna die here. So yeah, I I <laughs> I actually usually don't call 911 unless there's like violence happening. I always call the uh, the city police directly because that's kind of like the that's that's basically the non-emergency number because. Oh God no. Oh God, I have 23 ammo. <laughs> I always call the non-emergency line, which it's known as, because I I have read that like 90% of calls to 911 aren't actually emergencies. Like there are even some people that are like, oh, can you give me directions to Pizza Hut? <laughs> but there there are some times that I called 911. Uh, I did it a few times before I learned that the non-emergency number was a thing. When I learned when I walked uh, worked at the gas station. But of course, there was a time also when I called 911 because this guy was very belligerent and refused to leave after drinking a beer right in front of me in my store. And then he refused to leave. He was belligerent. And then it took him like two full minutes to realize I was calling 911. And then finally, he kind of realized it was like, Are you calling the cops on me, bro? And I was like, Yeah. Because it's, I wasn't challenging him or anything, but uh, it was more like, well, yeah, what the fuck do you expect? You're refusing to leave and you just drink a beer in the store. And then, uh, and then it was like, uh, so then he, he finally fully justified me calling 911 by threatening to knock me out and, and, and then starting to start to come behind the counter. So I... Oh yeah, but that's that's the only one of the few times that I called 911 is when that shit happens. I mean, sometimes it's inevitable. You have to you have to do it. Because if you don't, if you kill a person who's breaking into your home and you don't, then you're going to get charged. You're going to catch a case. I was hoping there were no monsters down there, down here. Oh, you know what? I don't have my <laughs> I don't have my game screen up. Damn it. I was talking to whole time. You know what? I'm just gonna keep it. Fuck it. Uh, don't worry. You didn't miss much. It's just a lot of crises. Where I was out of ammo and I got a bunch of monsters barreling down on me. Hmm. <laughs> Also, there's some way to get out here. Anyway, also, uh, <laughs> also applied to be a a state a correctional officer at a. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! At a state jail that's like 30 minutes away from me. 
Or maybe 25. Oh, I gotta get out of here and switch to my rocket launcher. Thank you. Phew. No! Not another one. I am once again hurting for ammo. Yeah, so I was looking in the uh, in the job description of that correctional jail, and I saw no felonies. So I was like, "Okay, I'm clear." And then I called, I called the state jail up, scheduled my interview. Like, yeah, I, I called them and scheduled my interview, and then I went back to the job description, and it said. No class A misdemeanors within the last 10 years. So I was like, God damn it. So I called her back, canceled my interview, and I guess I'm just going to have to go somewhere else now. Uh, did I grab the auto map? What is this? Have I been here before? Oh, yes. Okay. So how to get to here? Looks like the only way is through there. And where does that lead? Oh, boy. Oh, I have to get teleported there. Damn it. All right. Let's see what else I'm missing. I'm going to go ahead and save there. Because I need to look at my map. To get any bearing at this point of the level. How the f oh oh it's it's through here, but how do I get up there? Oh, it's through here. Quick save again, please. Oh boy. I know this staircase. I know this staircase very well. All right, I'm gonna go balls to the wall here and pull out my rocket launcher. Okay, apparently I don't know this staircase very well. Because I thought there were monsters. Oh boy, there they are. Yeah, kill each other, please. I need that bullet ammo. I just wasted one of my valuable shotgun shells there. Oh boy, those are demons that I just heard. I think. Any more health pickups? Uh, all right, there's another passage behind here, but I don't think I want to go there yet. Luckily, all of these zombie men have been gracious enough to give me a plethora of ammo. And the best way to kill at this distance is with is sniping them with a chain gun. You wouldn't think that a chain gun would be very capable of sniping. Oh god, no. Okay, fine. I'll use a fucking rocket launcher on you. Just be careful not to shoot it into my own face. Yeah, that's a classic uh cliché way of accidental accidental suicide is uh turning a rocket launcher back into your own face and pulling the trigger it happened to my uncle it happened to me <laughs> gonna go ahead and save there because I don't trust this situation I'm gonna save here because I don't trust this situation oh boy I'm gonna get trapped here aren't I 
They're gonna surround me. Oh shit, what is that for? What is that for? I need I need to move. I need to move. Oh don't run away from me. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? You're just wasting my goddamn time. Oh, you're trying to bait me. You're trying to make yourself bait so that I can walk into this trap, huh? Thank you for the shotgun ammo. Lots of it. Almost full capacity. Uh, I'm going to save the game here. I'm going to see if any of these walls are shootable. Nope. All right, I'd say we're doing pretty good here, considering this is my first time playing this mission, this episode on this difficulty. Fuck. I am very proficient at this game. I am very proficient at this game. I am very proficient at this game. Ah! I'm gonna die here in this hole. Is that the exit? That might be the exit. All right, what's in here? That is the fake exit. That's the fake exit. I thought that. Earlier, when I thought I saw one? No. That is the fake exit. Alright. Are there any health pickups? Any at all. Alright, we're gonna see if we can find anything else here. Quick save here. I regret doing this. Eh, not really. Uh, no, let's go ahead and do this again. This guy's in a cage that can't corner me, then I want to at least be able to fry him up without taking damage. All right, quick save again. Oh, this is definitely, if I can get through this, I can find a really good secret. Wait, did y'all kill the caca demon? Yeah, I'm gonna try that again. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I got hit once. Give me some armor bonus here. Alright, I think the way to go here. Oh, never mind. Alright, I got all that for free. Well, it cost me a lot of health, but you know. Now that cost me a lot of health and it took me back to the beginning of the level. All right, what am I missing here? There are secrets here. Health of some shells. No health, but some shells to make it for the ones that I use to kill those imps. Let's see here. All right, so where do I need to go now? I see two secret areas right now that I need to find a teleporter to. And I believe the staircase to that secret level is through here. No, because the walls were gray. Maybe here, here. 
Uh, let me see if I can recognize it on the auto map. Okay, that can't be opened at all. I suppose. Hmm. Maybe it was in the original area. Alright, so here's the secret exit. But apparently I have not unlocked the staircase yet. So to do that, I have to find... I guess a switch somewhere. Hmm. Oh, okay, I found it. It's right next to the goddamn stairway. All right. Now, I should probably go through this exit, right? I've got plenty of shell ammo. Almost full of normal max capacity on bullet ammo. Kindly enough sell ammo. All righty, let's go through here. Oops. Oh, this is embarrassing. When's the last time I quick saved? Oh, it was here. All right, meet you back at the secret exit. All right, I don't know what I've lost or gained by replaying from that quick save, but I'm going to say fuck it and let's go in here with a damn plasma rifle. I'm going to save right here. All right, I lost five health. I'm going to go ahead and save that because I don't know what's behind here. Oh, it's the secret area. The ultimate secret area. Hmm. This looks kind of suspicious. Okay. All right. Let's go to the mission number nine. So this was mission five, and now we're going to go to nine. Yes, thank you. Rub it in my face, why don't you? 22 minutes.